Hey Aida, this is John again from johnshalom.com and uh, at this moment I want to talk about translations. You know, translations is one of the services that I offer and if you go to johnshalom.com under uh, shop, you will find uh, books, courses and services. So one of the services that I offer is translations. So I translate from English to Dinka, Nuer or Juba Arabic. I've been doing it for several years and that is my talent. They say practice makes perfect. I never studied uh, translations, uh, you know, because we have been taught that uh, for you to do something very well, you have to go to school, which is good. But I, I still know from practice that what you love doing and practice, you know, is much better than uh, going into school and stay there for several months or several years to study something and have a very nice certificate and then you you are like starting from scratch you know from zero when you are now doing the actual thing you know the, the, the putting it to work I am not against uh, going to school and even if you can see here on uh, on my chest I'm wearing this t-shirt uh, it is right from Ireland uh, it is Alison you know, this is my graduate uh, t-shirt from alison.com, uh, one of the websites that I recommend if you really want to do self-learning, especially during this time of coronavirus, you know, and COVID-19 effects, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So I encourage you to, to do self-learning. This is very good. Now, when you talk about translations, translations are not transliterations and they are not interpretations, you know. I can do all of them, but we are talking about translations. That means to take a, a word or sentence uh, from this source language or original language to the uh, to the targeted language or secondary language. And that's how it becomes difficult for, for many people because translation is not a gift for everybody. Uh, mark that well. It is not everyone that can do translations. Why? Because we don't have the same abilities. You know, some of us are able naturally to be translators. They are linguists. Uh, you know, they understand the basics of a language uh, construction. You know, th there are so many words, uh, technical words, difficult words that I don't like to use when, when it comes to th technical things like this. But I hope you understand what I'm talking about. A translation sometimes can be direct. But in most cases, uh, we translate the, the context, not just words, even though, of course, we translate words, but uh, the way we arrange those words, change the meaning and give it a meaning in the, in the targeted language. For example, uh, you know, when you say uh, in, in the Nuer language, you, 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 when you are talking about the door and the house, you see uh, the Nuer and the Dinka language have a different uh, arrangement of those words, the door and the house. You know, the, 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 the Nuer language will start with the door. It is the door of the house. And the Dinka say, you know, it is the house that has the door. You see, it, it's, it, it, it's the other way around. So it's, it's, it becomes very funny uh, when you directly translate uh, something. For example, Someone was saying, uh, um, we are running short of food. That is English. And then, you know, to take it from that into Juba Arabic, uh, somebody was saying, Anina Jerry, Guserin, Ashan Kalam Akil. You know, if you know those two languages, you, are, you understand now that I was saying something completely different. Why? Because the word running in this case, in this context, doesn't mean to run like you know like to run somewhere it actually means we are almost uh i mean the food is almost uh out it's almost finishing that's the context that's what is supposed to be translated you know you don't say running as if you are running because words change depending on what we are trying to say so that is how funny and technical translations are so if you are on YouTube and you like uh, this short video, please uh, subscribe and hit that bell so that whenever I release any short video like this, you will get it. And if you are on uh, 
on Facebook, kindly like the video or comment, you know, let us know what you think about the video. So thank you so much. God bless you. Shalom.